So YouTube, thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi and we will talk about another Python topic today and that will be loops. So what is loops? Loops as in, uh, well, a, a continuous task. It goes from zero to A, A to B. If you have uh, seen you know, this Instagram, if you are on any social network, you have the GIFs, right? The same way, GIF or GIF, whatever you call. Uh, let's uh, define a tuple here. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is uh, okay. Six is a tuple, so for loop for a number. Okay, I will say a number in a print number. So it just went through the entire list. It's a loop now. It's called for loop you have for loop and while loop let's uh, talk about the while loop now uh, let's say n equals zero while n less than nine n plus equals one that is increase the value of n by by one and let's run this so oh well let's remove this the confusion let's run this again now so while n is less than nine we have set the value of n as zero so obviously it's less than nine so what it does is uh, it runs the first uh, it runs this loop once and n the value of n becomes one but it's still less than nine, so it runs the loop again. So till this condition is met, it will keep on you know, going through a loop. So that is uh, a while loop. Let's um, go ahead and uh, see what is an infinite loop. So while true, um, print hey. As you can see, just printing hey because while true that means true is always true right so let's keep on doing that uh, you can also say while one is less than nine one is always less than nine so i know it keeps printing that so it is an infinite loop and now we have some uh, loop control statements one of them the first one is break statement so let's see what it does for i in range 9. What happened here? If i equals 8, then I want to do a break here. And then I want to print i. Let's see what happens here. So when five six seven eight right so after we saw eight well i think uh, the better option would be let me put six here so what happens after it i know uh sees six it stops there right it stops there it will no more do anything else but till i is equal to six it will keep on printing i uh, the opposite of that is instead of breaking we say continue so what we will do here is I will let me put this here print I'm gonna just put a line here so that we can see it's a break right continue right so I will just copy this paste this here instead of break I will say continue and let's see what happens so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so when it saw 6 it did not break but it just skipped that letter uh, I mean that number that instance and it continued right so the only difference is when you use when you use break it will stop that particular activity loop at that point it will not proceed further 
whereas continue is the opposite of that it will skip that particular instance and proceed further so let me do this again let me put a break here for us to see right so this is and then we have something called pass now what the hell is pass now pass is something in the middle it won't do anything it just nothing right so it's neither this neither that let's do this so zero one two three four five six seven eight all the numbers are there if you want to avoid confusion just say i will delete everything and i will run this so this is pass this is break this is continue all right so that's all we had for this video thank you for tuning in like and subscribe you take care